Chinese influence on Kiribati. China's growing influence on the global stage has extended to various regions, including the Pacific. Kiribati, an island nation located in the central Pacific Ocean, has increasingly attracted Chinese attention, resulting in a notable impact on the country's politics, economy, and strategic dynamics. In 2019, Kiribati severed its ties with Taiwan and established diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China. This shift in recognition was a significant diplomatic victory for China, as it further isolated Taiwan diplomatically. By establishing official relations with Kiribati, China expanded its influence in the Pacific, gaining a foothold in a region traditionally considered within Taiwan's sphere of influence. China's increasing influence in Kiribati is part of its broader strategy to expand its presence in the Pacific region. It is viewed as a part of China's Larger Belt and Road Initiative BRI, which aims to enhance connectivity and economic cooperation across regions. By establishing a foothold in Kiribati, China seeks to counterbalance the influence of other regional powers, particularly the United States and its allies, such as Australia and New Zealand. China's influence on Kiribati is evident through its economic investments and aid packages. China has provided financial assistance for infrastructure projects, including the construction of government buildings, roads, and sports facilities. Additionally, Chinese companies have invested in sectors such as fisheries, tourism, and telecommunications. These investments contribute to Kiribati's economic development but also create economic dependencies and raise concerns about debt sustainability. China has offered development assistance and capacity building programs to Kiribati, aimed at supporting sectors such as agriculture, health, education, and renewable energy. These initiatives provide tangible benefits to the Kiribati population, addressing pressing needs and fostering goodwill towards China. However, they also serve to deepen China's influence by fostering relationships with local communities and decision-makers. Kiribati's rich fisheries resources play a significant role in China's interest in the nation. Chinese fishing vessels have been granted fishing licenses in Kiribati's exclusive economic zone, EEZ, allowing China to access valuable tuna and other fish stocks. This access supports China's demands for seafood and strengthens its position as a major player in the global fishing industry. China's presence in Kiribati raises concerns among regional powers regarding its potential impact on regional security dynamics. The possibility of China utilizing Kiribati's ports or airstrips for military purposes or establishing a military base in the future has prompted strategic anxieties. This has led to increased surveillance and engagement by countries like the United States and Australia to maintain a balance of power and ensure the security of the region. China's influence on Kiribati is not limited to politics and economics but also encompasses cultural exchanges and people-to-people -people contacts. Through scholarships, cultural events, and educational programs, China promotes its language, culture, and values in Kiribati. These initiatives foster cultural ties, influence public opinion, and shape perceptions of China among the Kiribati people. China's influence on Kiribati encompasses various aspects, including geopolitics, access to resources, cultural diplomacy, and regional security. While the relationship brings economic benefits, concerns about debt sustainability, strategic implications, and regional dynamics need to be carefully managed. Understanding the nature and implications of Chinese influence on Kiribati is essential for both Kiribati and other regional powers to navigate the evolving geopolitical landscape in the Pacific.